Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Corinthian, but everyone calls me Ren. We about to go run some girl errands. It's Friday, it's been a long work week, and I'm like, let me throw something on and go run some errands, like just so people can see me and I can get some fresh air. Go to Target, I need to stop at Sephora, and um, I ordered some groceries, so I'm gonna pick that up. Yeah, let me show y'all my fit. It's so dark, it's so annoying. I have on some Sambas. These have been like my favorite since I got them. I have this sweater on and all I did was tie it in the back so that it could wrap around and the sleeves wouldn't like hang over my shoulders. And I love the little effect that it made. And then I just have on this tank top from Zara and these are some Gap linen pants. I believe these glasses are, ooh, I'm sorry y'all. <laughs> I believe these glasses are from Amazon. My hair is in a bun and then just like little dainty jewelry. All right, y'all, I'm in Sephora. I'm in here for the one size setting spray. Fingers crossed, that's all we do, all we get in here. I need to find the setting spray. I believe I saw it. Oh, wow, okay, I see it. Can you see it? No, not this, is this tiny though. Y'all, look at this size difference. Are you, are you hitting me? I might as well just get the big one. Honestly, y'all, I came in here for the small one because I wanted to try it. But look at this, like $17 and this is the 32. I might as well just get the big one. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the big one. I do want to smell the Mugler, the vanilla one. So, let go smell that. Let's go smell that. I just don't think they got it. Yeah, I don't see it. This smells lovely. Like, so, so good. I see this little skirt, it's really good. Yes. Y'all can't tell me this stuff is not mad cute. Like, this gives everything but comfortable. But this is the extra large, so I'm trying to see if I can find, um, I can find my size here. This is really cute. I just don't know if it's gonna fit me because it's an extra small. Look at these cute chairs. Y'all look at these chairs. chicken Caesar sandwich in a little bit, but I wanna show y'all what I got from Target. So, I got this white pleated skirt. I also got this black one. I also got a black one. 
And then this is a haul for you too, so pay attention. I got this yellow one. I think this is gonna be such a cute vibe. I got these for like my chill, you know, run errands day. I like to look cute when I run errands, so I'll make some really cute outfits out of these. I got two new elf lip gloss. I keep telling y'all about this lip gloss, go get it. Okay, I love it. Okay, Elf, if you wanna send me some, you know, hit that email. Hit that email. <laughs> nah, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm dead playing. But, I'm playing, but I'm not playing. Anyone, this, I already have this color. This is in Rose MB. And then I got this one in Honey Talks. And this is so cute, like, I'm not gonna lie, I think this might be my favorite one yet. It has like this natural, like, brown look. Ugh, it's like a nude. Avon Brown, so cute. And I went into Sephora, and all I got in there, thank God, was this one size setting spray. I was gonna get the little one, but as y'all saw, the, the size difference is insane. So I was like, let me just get the bigger one, because you get almost like triples the amount um, of the smaller one, so. That, that is probably done intentionally. Oh, I got my favorite candle from Target which I'm gonna light in a second because I'm gonna make my chicken Caesar sandwich, which I've been making all week, but y'all gonna see that. Bro, I left broccoli in the damn trash and that shit smells so bad. So I need to, I actually really need to light this candle. But I got this pumpkin candle. Y'all always hear me talk about this. I love this candle. I will, I will burn this candle until they discontinue it. Please don't discontinue it. Please don't discontinue it. Cause these companies have a problem with discontinuing stuff that people like, it's annoying. Um, and then last but not least, I just got these earrings. I thought they would be really, really, really cute. Simple price to keep them out my life. Booby trap, we need a business office. Magic City need a business office. 29, I keep a business office. I'm in love with Houston, Dallas office. Good morning, you guys. Happy, happy Saturday. It is the very next day. I just got out of a brand meeting, um, actually with LTK. I am a LTK creator now, so everything I link will be on my LTK. You can always find it in my bio. Literally everything, all my Amazon stuff, anything you guys see me post, wear, 
anything I mentioned will be on my LTK store. Because of that, I need to get that together because I was using another platform to link things, but LTK just makes it so much easier because every single thing can be in one place, which I love. Because trying to, you know, tell people to navigate multiple places to find things is annoying. Not for me, but I, I can understand how it can be annoying for y'all. Because I personally, when I'm shopping, I just be wanting to go straight to one thing and everything's linked there. So, with that said, I'm trying to get my LTK together. I can transfer everything over from the other platform that I was using. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um, I need to edit because I did film some content last night, what you guys saw. I did also film it for TikTok. So I want to just get that edited. Clicks for the thumbnails and sit. I fucking love your accent. Oh, oh. Australia. First of all, I got a comment on my video from Australia, like, hello? I actually need to comment back to some people. I posted a YouTube video earlier in the week and I'm going to hopefully get this vlog edited and posted, fingers crossed. That's so cool, the fact that she she said that she clicked on my video. If you're watching, girl, she clicked on my video because of the thumbnail, love that, because I was second guessing that thumbnail. <laughs> Now she subscribed, so I love that. So yeah, I need to comment back to people on YouTube, edit my video. I do plan to do something today. Like, I've been in the house for weeks at this point, so just getting out, getting some fresh air, and not seeing the same four walls. I do want to go to Zara today, but it's already 11.05, so I don't know. We'll see. It's a little later. I'm headed to get my groceries real quick. Um... I was editing. I edited a TikTok. It's like a part of this vlog, but it's a TikTok vlog. <laughs> like a little mini vlog. So, yeah, I'm about to have to get my groceries now. And then I'm going to come back, chill for a second, and then get ready. Because it's a beautiful day. I don't want to spend the day, you know, just in a crib. I want to enjoy the weather. So. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another day of the vlog. I am rushing, of course. Um, I'm going to meet my friend Ashley so we can shoot some night content. And this is what I'm wearing. I bought a sweater in last week's vlog. Didn't get a picture in it, so definitely going to get a picture tonight. But we got to go because I'm rushing. I had to take a nap because I was so tired earlier. Yeah. Bye. In this mansion, I'm a Carly Calkin. Paid in full, I'm a power fight. Know you're tired, we just did dinner for three hours. Lying to me all night. Buying being Spencer's out of spite. Paid a hundred, ran up something light. Simple price to keep them out my life. Booby trap, we need a business office. Magic City need a business office. 29, I keep a business office. I'm in love with Houston, Dallas, Austin. Tell you guys to hold up on a team chain. Seem like they made me money for coffins. Cuban girl, a family grind coffee. Text me on the signal, don't call me. I'm about to run out real quick. My friend Ren's mom made some cassava leaf. If you know, you know. So this is what I'm wearing. Any opportunity I get to throw something on, I'm gonna do it, okay? So this is the fit. I feel like these glasses kinda go with it. I'm gonna wear this bag. Real calm, real cute, real simple. I wanna stop and get crumbled. Your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh. And I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Ooh. Everybody else basic, you live life on everything basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. 
if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you. Hey y'all, welcome back to another day of the vlog. It is Sunday. <laughs> I don't know when was the last time I vlogged, but it's Sunday and I'm about to film some TikTok content. My setup is so fire. Like, I just figured out a setup, how I could see myself, everything. Like, I haven't recorded makeup videos, but I haven't been recording makeup videos for a little while now. Just, I don't know. Makeup used to be like my big thing and then I just stopped recording hella makeup videos. I'm about to film this TikTok and I wanna show y'all how it looks. So this is my phone. I have my phone mirrored on the computer, which is gonna make it super easy to record. Because every time I film these videos, I have to worry about being out of focus. But I'm like, somebody said something about mirroring your screen. And I definitely have my iMac. My birthday is not this week coming up, but next week. And yeah, I have a lot of good content coming. Like y'all, the way I plan to shoot pictures and content on this vacation is crazy. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. I should probably clean this off so I could be able to show it to the camera because this is really dirty. But Every time I use the Pure Canvas Primer, y'all, my makeup be coming out so good. I'm really excited. I'm excited for the vacation, but I'm also excited for the content that I'm going to create. Oh, how could I forget? I did my hair this morning. I should have definitely picked you guys up to show y'all, but it really wasn't that hard. If y'all interested in seeing it, just let me know. But this was so easy. I had to wash my hair because it was so dirty and so tangled. Like, the middle of my head was so tangled, y'all. Like... So I got up at like seven, I woke up at seven and I'm like, let me wash my hair, deep condition it and do something because number one, I need to film content. Number two, I needed to give it a little bit of love, y'all. Like I had like knots coming out of my hand, not like OD, but like knots. And I will check in with you guys in a little bit. I love these elf glosses. I'm not gonna keep telling y'all. I swear y'all This I uh, always want to be a hater But it didn't like OD today So I'm gonna just let it rock out I'm gonna like spray my face and stuff and Even though I know I shouldn't do that While my eyes doing this I'm gonna spray my face Try to you know Finish up the video Cause I got a lot of content to record today And typically I would let this blow mine But I'm like baby whether the I want to cooperate or not, we're getting things done today. And I irritated it in the shower. I knew, I knew this was gonna happen, but I was like, you know what? Let me just still record. And I hate this type of stuff because my base, y'all see this base? My base be eaten, but this just makes it look awkward. I have labeled this. I'm pretty in the motherfucker. Hope we look it okay. I think I officially found my spring staple fragrances. <laughs> Want your man not to be able to keep his hands off of you this spring? Hop in, baby. I think I found my official spring fragrances. So, being that I'm filming a TikTok about this, I'm gonna show y'all in the vlog real quick. These are literally my three favorite spring fragrances. First up is this Kayali's Pistachio, and it smells so freaking good, y'all. It's like cotton candy, but when it dries down, it's very vanilla-y, and I love vanilla scents. This smells so good. Like, I'm gonna need me another bottle. I should've got the big bottle. Next up is this Mugler perfume. This is the Alien perfume, and this, it has like keynotes of like grapes, vanilla, musk. It just smells so good. Like this one gonna have everybody asking you what you wearing. It's gonna have everybody in the grocery store stopping you, yeah. And then this Lancome Idol, this is one of them. She's one of them. Okay, this makes well with every and anything. And that's why I love this one. And it's long lasting. We love a long lasting uh, perfume, okay? So yeah, let me record this video because I should have been recording that for the TikTok. I should have. All right, y'all. I just wrapped up the perfume portion of my content today. I wanted to do like a spend day with me, but I literally do not have any plans. Like, it's Sunday. A lot of things close early. I would go like do pottery or something, but 
because I've been wanting to do that for a while, but I doubt that it's gonna be open this late. Yeah, because it's Sunday and y'all know everything closed early on Sunday. I just want y'all to know, I ate this little one. My I try to be a hater and I ain't let that defeat me, baby. What? I ate this little one. I see dropping that song on my birthday. It's real bold energy, like, pop your shit. I love that for her. Like, my girl is really out here solo, doing her big one. Really building her fan base. And she's putting on for the real dark skin chocolate girls, you know? I love that for her. I just got done um, shooting this outfit, like a little get ready with me. Um, I shot it in three different ways. I don't know how to explain it to y'all, so I'm not gonna explain it. <laughs> but um, I got this little light that I'm definitely taking with me on vacation because it lit up this spot so good, like just this light. I know the settings and everything that works, so it's about to be a hit at every time. This is outfit, y'all can't even really see. I'll insert the TikTok if anything. But yeah, at this point, I've been working all day, but I feel like this was a great work day. Not like some days, sometimes I'll be working all day, and then it be mad frustrating, it's not giving that setting, so yeah. All right, y'all, I've been vlogging all day, but not really vlogging. Um, so I was like, why not do some skincare with you guys? It was a successful content day. I have this Lancome Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. Is this just for your eyes? Wow, hold on. Yeah, this is definitely just for your eyes. So I'm probably not gonna use that because my eyes be sensitive as hell. For a while, I was like, what is going on with my makeup? It's not hitting like it used to. Number one, I be in a rush. Number two, I've been using the Laura Mercier primer. I don't know which one it is. I'm gonna put it down in the description box. But y'all, that primer is so fire. Like it literally makes everything look like blurred. Followed by that one size setting spray and the Morphe setting spray. I do both because I feel like the Morphe like melts your makeup together and then the one size like freezes it there. Like I've had this makeup on for hours at this point, like eight, nine hours. And it really doesn't look bad. I was picking at my forehead, of course, so. But yeah, and I'm very proud of myself for making it through the day. <laughs> I don't wanna live the same year over and over. And because I don't wanna live the same year over and over, I really gotta do what I say I'm gonna do, you know? Even when things are not going all the way your way, you got to do what you said you're gonna do. Because I realize that Sometimes, <laughs> I'll be letting one little thing, I'll be letting one little thing like just completely disrupt my day, my week. And you cannot be like that. Like life keeps rolling. Of course, feel what you need to feel, but life keeps rolling. You cannot dwell on every little thing. With that said, I feel like I'm, I've just been being intentional with the things that I give my time to, um, how I'm reacting to things. Because life is gonna life for everyone. It's really just how you deal with it. Like, you learn how to go through life with all of the changes that happen and somehow keep a balance. You're winning, like for real. Because it'd be hard out here just trying to balance everything, your thoughts, be a good person, work out. But yeah, y'all, I've really been thinking like, I have to be intentional because number one, I'm getting older. Number two, I don't want to live a life with no purpose, you know, like just letting anything in my space, consuming anything. Right now, the goal is like peace within myself. Like, I'm not trying to hold up any image. I'm not trying to be the person that anybody wants me to be. I just want to be at peace with myself, you know? As I'm getting older, like, I just want things that are good for me. If I gotta wake up an hour earlier so that I am not stressed throughout the day, I'm gonna do that. If I gotta sit here and take time with my skincare so that I calmly wind into my night, then I'm gonna do that. Like, you know, really just taking care of myself. The other day, like, I really do not be eating the best stuff, and that definitely has an effect on, you know, your mood the way you feel. Yeah, I've been trying to just eat a little better, take care of myself, wake up a little earlier so that I'm not stressed throughout the day. 
I take time to really be where my feet is at. Like that was something I was saying in my last vlog. For me, that's just like pausing, you know, and taking a second to enjoy what I have in the moment, where I am in the moment. I always say to you guys, I just be on go. I feel like with social media and just life in general right now, everything is so fast. So it's just so important to me to just slow down, slow down and you know, stop taking small things for granted. Like having a roof over my head, being able to, you know, live in the space that I want to live in. You know, having a job, like the market is so crazy right now. Just being able to take care of myself. Like there's so many crazy things going on in the world right now. Like you really can't take small things for granted. Every day new something pop up on my forehead. I don't know what's going on. It really does feel like a second stage of puberty and I don't like that. Um, I'm using this Lancome Gentry Free Serum and y'all, I'm not even going to lie this serum. This serum is tea. From the day that I started using this serum, I noticed that my skin just looks so much more vibrant and like, I don't know how to explain it, but like tight, you know? I'm, I'm gonna use this discoloration serum by Good Molecules. But this is the skin, y'all. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Corinthian, but everyone calls me Ren. Today's video is a maintenance vlog. My birthday is next week, so I need to prep for my birthday. I need to prep for my trip, and I just need to get it together. Your girl been musty, crusty, dry. It's, it's been real ghetto in here, so I wanna get myself together in this vlog. So I'm about to head out to I'm gonna go to the nail salon to get my feet done. Um, I go to a nail tech. Well, I'm trying this new nail tech and then obviously she doesn't do feet so I'm gonna go get my feet done at the nail salon. So yeah, I plan on getting my brows done today. I'm going to try to get as much done today as I can. I wanna get some braids um, or sewing. I have two appointments with y'all and it's because I'm really, really indecisive so at some point, this weekend, I'm gonna have to decide, but I think I'm gonna go with the braids because the sewing, it's just a lot to keep up with, especially in Tulum, and I just don't wanna deal with that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, anyways, I need to head to get the my feet done, so let's head out. You cannot come bookie. Let me show y'all my outfit. So very, very chill. I have on this tank top from Gap. I believe this little like jacket is from Forever 21. I have on these pants from Gap. I think they were in the linen collection. On some Asics. This hat I got from Urban Outfitter. And then just a bunch of like random jewelry. I don't know if y'all can see. This ring says the world is yours. I thought that was so cute. Um, with this other ring. Then I have on some bracelets. I have on this watch ring which I think is so stinking cute. This is how my nails came out. And I'm so obsessed. She did such a good job. I've been eating this yogurt bowl a lot lately. Honestly, these yogurt bowls are just a parfait. These yogurt bowls remind me of parfaits. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Um, but I just have some granola, yogurt, blueberries, and strawberries in here. And this is such a quick, healthy snack. I just bodied that yogurt bowl in the car. Like, that was so motherfucking good. Wow.
y'all i just got back in the car from getting my feet done going to two different places is high key annoying i wish like people did both because I'd, I'd much rather just stay at one place but it is what it is i go to this nail salon called milano nail spa and it's like a chain of houston nail salons and honestly y'all the service is always good they always make sure that you are 100 percent happy before you leave and i love that like and i ain't gonna lie they don't sit there and be talking about people in their language the whole time because i know that some nail salons you really do be having to worry about that but they don't do that so yeah it's always a vibe the music is always very soothing giving like spa vibes got my nails done got my feet done i'm literally obsessed with my nails like she bodied these for real she bodied these i'm in my maximum jewelry era i feel like any little bit of jewelry really gives a simple outfit a look like y'all this is supposed to be like my bum in it outfit but because i have this bun like that with these hoop earrings and this funky hat and just some jewelry it kind of looks cuter than it actually is um but jewelry just gives the outfit a bit of oomph i used to be a jewelry hater y'all like for real i used to be a jewelry hater and now you can't get me to stop buying jewelry i cannot believe that i'm about to be 27 on wednesday like time literally is going so fast i was just 17 worried about what i'm about to wear to prom and what i'm about to wear to graduation and what school i'm going to to being 27 full-blown adult i believe i'm turning 27 like i'm out here in houston texas by myself you know learning life and navigating through life and it's just so crazy to me like number one it's crazy that i even live in houston like houston was never in my plans but number two it's just I can't believe like how fast it's time is going like we were just in 2020 pandemic all types of craziness to now it's 2024 and the week before my birthday always is like this for me I always have these like aha moments <laughs> or like I would say these moments where I just like reminisce and you know go through a state of gratitude you know in some previous years i was like i guess i was like sad when my birthday was coming around but this year i'm just like i'm happy i'm grateful y'all why do walmart have these candles for five dollars i love burning this one the salted coconut and mahogany red lava and citrus i realized that i really like the smell of citrus I think I'm gonna get a few of them because I love candles and five dollars you cannot beat that baby. Don't you wanna dance with me? No, I could dance like Michael Jack. So I could keep it up. So it's a thriller in the track. Where we from? Baby, don't you wanna dance with me? No, I could dance like Michael Jack. So I'm back home um from getting my nails, my feet, and my eyebrows done. I don't know if y'all can really see my eyebrows. I feel, oh no, you can tell. She bodied. I feel like she did make them a little thin, but it's not too thin. Like, I feel like within a couple days, they'll look the way I want them to look, but super cute. My nails came out good. I stopped at Walmart. So I got two salted caramel and mahogany. This is like literally my favorite Walmart candle. It has citrus in it, it has vanilla, and it has wood. And those are some of my favorite scents, especially like individually, but then together, they're just so good. So yeah, already burning one of these. And I also got the cashmere antique candle. And this one has more of a musky undertone, but I really like this. I really, 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 really like this. This gives me like nighttime vibes, winding down, trying to set the tone for myself. Yeah. Um, white peach and daisy. And this is one of my favorite ones. It has this like sweet scent, but oh, it's so good. It's like sweet and fresh. I racked up all my candles, got five. I mean, they're $5, so for $5, you really, really cannot be bad. And then I got some wet wipes. I got a 25 pack, well a 24 pack, and I think I'm making goodie bags for the girls, and I think I'm gonna go get another one of these to be able to throw a few of them in their goodie bags. 
but this is for me because I literally hate being out, not being able to wash my hands and my hands are sticky. Just came in, It Cosmetics did send me this over in PR. Um, and this is just a hydrating serum sunscreen. So I'm really excited to try this. I don't care what complexion you are, you need sunscreen. Like people be acting like they don't need sunscreen because they black. You actually need it more, baby. Especially if you're suffering from any type of acne or anything, you need to be putting your sunscreen on so that your dark marks don't get darker. I got this sunscreen spray by Neutrogena. I got both of them. I actually bought this one the other day and I just got it because it said more for the money, but it's only 45. So when I saw this 70 in Walmart, I was like, okay, let me, let me get this one. My friend Ashley used this on my legs the other day when we were taking pictures and y'all, this just looks, it makes your body look so like glistening. Hold on, let me see. Can y'all see? Yeah. I don't know if you guys are able, you see how it just, yeah, I wanna look like that the whole vacation. Roll over. Hi, bro. He is just so spoiled. Hi. Put you down? Okay. He ain't like that very much. All right, y'all. I have no idea when the last time was that I picked up this camera. I just did my hair, used a clip to clip it, and this is what the clip did. So I'm gonna have to fix it. I don't know when the last time was that I picked up this camera, but. It is Friday. Oh no, it was yesterday because we're vlogging a maintenance vlog. <laughs> I got my nails done, all that other jazz. I ain't my friend Asan is in town for the weekend. So we gonna just get into some festivities. If you guys are in the Houston area, then you know of Off The Record. We're just gonna go to Off The Record to catch a cute little vibe. I feel like Off The Record is always like, you know, the perfect in-between vibe. So. That's what we're going to do. I'm about to do my makeup and just vibe out. I feel like I have not been doing my makeup a lot lately. We about to put some makeup on. I really haven't done my makeup a lot in the last like three years, period. Like I used to want to wear makeup all the time. Like now I'll be like, mm mm. And that's why I'm tight. I got these like dark marks on my forehead because I'm somebody that loves to be a bare faced gal. But if I talk to y'all, I am not gonna do my makeup in the time frame that I need to do it. So I'm gonna do it, y'all gonna watch, we gonna vibe, and yeah. Real hot girl shit. Wow. Look, bitch I'm a star, got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry, this nigga see the kitchen. He gon' sit down and miss it. Call him a trick and he don't get a holler. Bitch, I'm a star. I got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry. This pussy see the kitchen. Yeah, that's my doubt. He gon' sit down and listen. Call him a trick and he don't get a penny. Ain't no he giving his money to Megan. He know it's very expensive to date me. Call him go put my name on that account because when I need money, I ain't tryna holler. He know he giving his money to Megan. He know it's very expensive to date me. Call him go put my name on that account because when I need money, I ain't tryna wait. I can't be with no. Oh, you can't touch. Uh, uh, I'll be cool yeah. on the bitch, ain't no press. Uh, uh, Till I met this little freak, her name Meg. 
Then the thing is style. Look how she walk, look how she talk, she sexy. I like when they pretty and ghetto. Type of bitch that don't even say hello. And whenever we fuck, she be fucking me back. Put her in the headlock with my elbow. Now she done reversed. Got a bone dick and ride this shit like a Camaro. Huh? I can't be fucked with no. Oh, you can't touch this. Hey, you try to rich shit. Talk. My money thick. All right, y'all. Hold on. A song Texas just said, okay, happy birthday to me. <laughs> I think I showed y'all this the other day, but anyways, um, I'm wearing this shirt from Zara. These pants are from Zara. This top is from Forever 21. JW Pay Pay. I have on my Sambas. Real cute, chill, but you know, that be loud. Okay. I'm just here to report that my tire pop. I'm blown, but I'm not. Like, it's like annoying, but it's like, I really can't do nothing about it. Like, we're driving. I'm trying to get off the exit. Something is on the road. And y'all, these people are just insane. There's always something in the middle of the road. Like, that's so annoying to me. So, you do have a spare. I just don't know if you have a jack or not. So what do we do? Go come back? Because we're already here. I, like, I would hate to waste the night. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. To wait. Because even if I call towing to come do all of that, they're going to take a minute. Y'all, my night but not about to go to waste. That's the thing. One thing about me, I'm still going to have a good time because we're already here. So the tire pop, day in the life of friend. <sighs> yeah. All right, y'all, we back from outside. We're here with roadside assistance. First of all, this one side setting spray is tea because my face looks like I just did it. But we're here with roadside. My car is getting the spare put on, just ghetto. Like, one thing about it, I did not let that ruin my night because who's about to be shut that now? I'm gonna go out and then I'm gonna take care of it after. All right, y'all. Uh, of course, I was leaving the house rushing and forgot to throw my camera in the back. So we're just gonna have to vibe out with the phone. I'm about to get my hair braided. Um, I'm gonna try my best. Actually, I think I could finesse with my phone because I have my tripods and stuff. So this section will be on my phone because I, I was rushing. It's 9 a.m. Let's see how long my hair takes. Here, they have two people working on your hair. I am getting small. Not less though, so let's see. Wanna do is gas me. How we end up in the backseat. Just trying to get to the bag. We on the same page, you the same way. Only keep the fam around me. So let me know what it's gonna be. I don't plan on getting no sleep. Why are we? Doing nothing, moving too fast. Candy paint with the windows all black seats, crème brûlée. What they gon' say? With the top down, screaming money, anything. We up till six in the morning. When the sunrise will be on it. Boy, I got five, you all so live. Tell me when to go, baby, when we gon' slide, baby, when we gon' slide. Yeah. Up all night, baby, when we gon' slide.
guys and happy Monday. I just took a shower, journal, got myself together for the morning. It is a very, ooh, that's my alarm. That's crazy because I'm up way before the alarm. Go me. It is Monday. I got my hair done yesterday. I probably said that in the last clip, but I got my hair done yesterday and I'm literally obsessed. I cannot wait to do my makeup. Um, I'm not gonna lie y'all, I was a little like, mm, braids for my birthday. I know there was a whole discourse about that like sometime last year, but like, I was like, braids for my birthday, but I'm going to Tulum, I'm sure by the time you guys see this video, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to Tulum and I was gonna get a sew-in. I need to cancel that appointment. I was gonna get a sew-in, but honestly, y'all, my hair does not take well to humidity. So this just made sense. Like, it just made sense. I'll come back, my hair will still be done. Like, it just made sense. And they did such a good job. The service was amazing. The staff was amazing. They were sweet, very quiet though, I'm not gonna lie. It's a very quiet experience in the chair, but nonetheless, very good. I feel like I started my Monday on the right foot. I got up at like six, took a shower, got my life together. It is the first day of my menstrual, so. You know, I'm trying to keep the vibes high, okay? Because y'all already know how that be. I am traveling this week, so I have a lot to get done at work. And I just have a lot to get done, period. So, yeah, I got some things to wrap up for work. I do want to go to Zara. I think I'm going to go a little later today. Very rainy morning, but I always say, you guys, this, I love the rain. I love hearing the rain. Let me say that because I don't, I don't like how sticky it be but i do love the sound of the rain and this morning when i woke up it was pouring and it was just so peaceful i got to watch the rain this morning and just like ease into the morning i always say like that is a very very big thing for me i like easing into my morning because i just have better days you know like i don't feel rushed i don't feel like i'm just antsy the day just starts smooth yes the birds are giving if you're here in Houston, check out Genesis Braiding. But I'm not even gonna lie, y'all, that is a part of my morning routine. At some point, I'm going to just sit and scroll. So it's that time in the morning. <laughs> I hope you are having a great morning wherever you are. I hope your day is off to a good start. And even if it's not, you have the opportunity to change it around, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my tea. I'll probably see you guys a little later. It is the day before my birthday, and I'm about to head to the mall again. If you're from the Houston area, then you know Houston has a lot of malls. Yesterday, I went to Willowbrook Mall. Today, I'm gonna try to go to Memorial. The Zara at Willowbrook was asked, so I just wanna really see what they have, and I need to make sure that I have everything I need, because when I'm on vacation, sometimes I like to change, you know, do little stuff, play with a couple different outfits. So I just wanna get some last minute stuff. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, y'all. I just wanna get some last minute stuff and then I'll probably lick my friends for a little bit because they're saying we have to celebrate because this year I was not playing a birthday dinner. I wasn't doing any of that. I was hopping on a plane. So yeah, I'm gonna meet, I'll probably meet up with them a little later, but right now I'm gonna head to the mall. All right, y'all, we made it to Zara after, I, I don't even wanna talk about it. That drive was vicious because there's so much traffic outside. Um, this Zara definitely has a little more. Nothing that I personally like, but it's not no biggie. We gonna look around and see what we could find. We're about to get this pink dress. I think this is so pretty, so feminine. Um, this is so pretty. Okay, I need a medium to try both. Okay. Oh y'all, look at this set. This set is super cute. All right, y'all. I was able to find a few more things. Not a lot, but way more than the Zara yesterday. And I feel like a win is a win. So we're about to try this stuff on and see what it's heading for. Nah, travel's a drag. All right, y'all. As y'all can hear, 
my washer is dumb loud for no reason. Um, but this is what we're looking at right now. Just clothes, shoes. I'm gonna bring these perfumes because they have been some sunglasses. This is like my body care stuff. That's some jewelry and that's some gifts I got the girls. Um, it's just random shit everywhere, but I'm about to pack. Happy birthday to me. Ah, happy birthday. Very calm. Like, it feel like a regular day though. <laughs> a star was born now. But yeah. <laughs> happy birthday to me. We're about to pack. Um, we will be in Tulum in the morning, so we we gotta get some vacuum. You excited, Pookie? 